you from across the room. When I rest, man. Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So as you might notice, I'm in a different setting today, not in my kitchen starting the vlog. <laughs> we have come away for a few days to Mikey's parents' house in Dartmouth, which we've been coming to for quite a while. Well, Mikey's obviously been coming to for a very long time, but here he is. Hey. <laughs> so we're gonna spend the next few days here, I think until Sunday. So it's Friday morning at the moment. We came down last night and just have quite a chilled one I think, do a bit of shopping, go on a nice few walks and maybe jump in the sea if the weather's nice. You'll probably be watching this in a couple of weeks time but we're having a heat wave in the UK at the moment. Although so hot. It's so, so hot but it is much cooler here. Let me show you the view from their house. So here's the view, it's literally amazing so pretty so their house is actually in Kingsweir which if you know the area is just across the what do you call it the dart the river dart the river dart um so that's Dartmouth over there so my parents are actually probably because Mikey's parents have a house here because they're really good friends they bought a house which is somewhere there I suppose I don't really know. So we're gonna head over into Dartmouth now, take Ziggy on a little walk, and then have some fish and chips in my favorite restaurant. If you come to Dartmouth or you are planning a trip away and maybe you wanna come here, I really, really recommend going to Rockfish. The food is amazing and they do the best, what is it, curried mushy peas. peas. Yeah. They're so good. So yeah, I really recommend that. Oh, also let me show you what we're wearing today for anyone that's interested in that. Okay, so we don't have an iron with us, so everything's really creased. <laughs> but I'm wearing this oversized ASOS linen shirt. I think it's like a 90s shirt. And then I've got these pink shorts. I actually didn't have a belt. <laughs> so I took a shoelace out of my Yeezys and then I've tied them up. And then I'm wearing just my Birkenstock, so something very loose and casual. Onto my key. <laughs> and what are you wearing? I'm really creased again. I'm wearing, is this from Zara? Yeah, Zara. 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 And my Birkenstocks. Twins. Couples Twins. the Birkenstock together, stay together. I saw you from across the room. Ready to cheers me? Hello. Yeah. Three, two, one. God, I'm very windswept. So I'm hoping that you can see me. I can't really see you guys because the sun is in my eye. Let me move this way. <laughs> we just had lunch at Rockfish, which is a really nice seafood restaurant or fish and chip restaurant. They actually have a takeaway shop as well, just up the road from the restaurant, um, which we love and we come to every time. We come here, hopefully you saw, but we had, was it Ling? Yeah. Yeah, Ling, which was... Oh, the sun's gone in a bit. <laughs> Ling, which was one of the specials with chips, which are unlimited, I think, for an extra pack. <laughs> and then curried mushy peas, which is a lish. And we've just picked up a couple of fruity ciders. We had a bottle of wine. Cheers. <laughs> from M&S and a bit of food for dinner, just some salad and we're now just sat on a bench and look how nice the view is. You're gonna put the camera at me then. <laughs> it's honestly so, so pretty here. I just love... 
<laughs> when I said, look how nice the view is, Mikey said, he thought I was gonna point it at him. What a fool. So we're just gonna have a couple of drinks here and in true Toby style, I have seen a few homeware shops, so I think we're gonna have a little wander of them. If I can't get any footage, I'll try to, and then I think we're gonna buy a few mugs we've seen, haven't we? Catch up with you in a bit. are pretty stuffed but we can't resist coming to this shop called The Good Intent when we come to Dartmouth. So we got three scoops to share of the Noffy Espresso Coffee which is the one on top and then Honeycomb. honeycomb. Yum! <laughs> Hiya! Just sat on the edge of the water enjoying our ice cream, which is kind of dripping everywhere, but I feel like that's a rite of passage on holiday. Good morning, guys. Vicky. So, as you can probably tell, it's a new day today, and I've got to be honest, I'm feeling a little bit... <laughs> I didn't end up doing too much filming yesterday because basically we got rather drunk after lunch. We had, I think, a bottle of wine and then a cocktail each with our lunch, and then Sam had a couple of drinks just on the water over there. I'm not sure how well you can see, and the steam train is just going past. How cute. And had a few too many drinks in the afternoon, and then we came back and sat on the balcony, which I'm stood on now, just in those two chairs, and yeah, had another bottle of wine, and then a few gin and tonics, and then basically ate loads of crisps and nibbles and rubbish, and passed out downstairs. In bed though, not on the floor. <laughs> so it's a new day today. I'm wearing another very summery outfit. I've got this white textured shirt from Zara on some, not sure how well you can see, blue stropey shorts and then my Birkenstocks again. And we're gonna head to Brixham today, which I don't think we've ever been to before, but apparently there's some really cute shops and I'm actually after a couple of bits for the house, as always, I feel like yeah, I'm literally always after things for the house. <laughs> but I'd like to get a couple more mugs because we're having a new shelf added in the kitchen, which I'll tell you more about soon. And then also I'm looking for a little watering can for inside, but it seems to be impossible to find. So I'm gonna try and hunt that out, have some lunch, and then I'm gonna cook dinner for us here tonight. So we'll try and show you as much as I can throughout the day. Hello, hello. Guys, it's so cute. Ziggy actually really, really likes it here. I think he likes being near the water. Ooh. I mean, I was gonna say he seems really rested, but he's always very chilled, so it doesn't really make a difference. But he also loves barking out the window, don't you? Are you a smart little boy? Yeah, are you? Are you gonna come out for the day with us today? <laughs> also, I've just spotted this Baobab candle, which I really like. So this is obviously Mikey's parents' house and they love Baobab. They always have them at their house, but I think that's really nice. I really like the like tortoiseshell glass. Right, Ziggy, let's go out for the day. Yep. Good boy. Sit. Good boy. take my sunnies off so that you can see me guys. Yeah, We've just arrived in Brixham. I literally can't even look at the camera. And we've brought Ziggy with us who just finished a wee. Just had a little wee wee. But it's honestly so pretty here. So if you are visiting the area ever, I definitely recommend having a little look around. And yeah, as always, I'm gonna try and dig out any cute little homeware shops and see what they've got. I said earlier, we were looking for some mugs and a watering can. <laughs> mugs and watering can? Yeah, that's it. I'm not buying other things until kind of the house is more done, because I don't want to clutter things up unnecessarily. But yeah, look how pretty it is. Let me turn the camera around. So pretty. There's all the boats and the sea as well. It just looks really, really nice, doesn't it? And Mikey thinks that, is it over there? Is talking? 
but I mean we didn't have a clue so if you are from here or you know the area then yeah let me know should we go and explore Ziggy come on have just finished in Brixham and driven back to Kings Weir which is where Mikey's parents house is and Mikey <laughs> this Mikey <laughs> not the other one back there <laughs> we actually had a really nice time there we were only there for 48, 48 minutes, minutes. <laughs> we did a like parking meter thing and it told us exactly how long we were there fun fact but we just had a nice wander we had ziggy with us so it was kind of tricky to stop and get food or anything so we're gonna head back over to dartmouth on the ferry now and get some pasties do you fancy a pasty i would love a pasty you know what i really like is last time when we came yeah i think i had like with your a, friend yeah it was like a well, my cheese friends. and leek and Oh something yeah, like, like a that. cheesy it chicken really and meat nice, or something yeah. big. I think yeah. they also do like a green Thai curry one. Yeah, only thing is, I don't know if I... Oh, last time I would have been veggie actually. Yeah. I was going to say, I, I don't know if veggie. I ate... Yeah, I'm sure they'd have like a cheese and onion one. Yeah. And then we'll get some crisps as well and maybe a drink? Yes. Yeah, something like that. Definitely, and it's really hot. I also <laughs> saw, I also saw yesterday a few shops i know i keep talking about homeware shopping but there weren't really any in brixham and there were some mugs that i liked so i'm gonna pop in and get those uh, you always with your hands start making a list you're like some mugs, mugs. that i like and your stuff yeah <laughs> there were some mugs that i like <laughs> and that was it and that's all <laughs> i'm gonna try and pick up that and then i think we're gonna get some fresh mussels mm. and some what we're we gonna do it white wine or i think probably i did it before was it with cider or beer yeah, I'm not sure. I'll have a look at a recipe or maybe just ask in the shop how, how to do it. Yeah, you but get some chips from Evan No, I was actually going to say just get some nice breads because I okay, quite like yeah. just dunking bread and it's easier. Um, yeah. <laughs> Bye. So that's the end of this vlog. <laughs> Thanks for what? No, I'm joking. It's going to be a bit longer yet. You must be crying with laughter back there at home. <laughs> Stick Show me what it's like. So we just had a bit of stress. As you will have seen, we got on the ferry to head over to Dartmouth and when we got to the other side, Mikey realised that he couldn't find the keys for the house. And so yeah, we're not sure where they are. So we've just got the ferry back to this side, that's Dartmouth over there. And we're now trekking up the road, just kind of looking everywhere for these keys and Mikey's headed back to the house to try and check that they're not in the door or he didn't leave them in there. Um, but yeah, just a bit worrying because Ziggy's in the house. He's obviously got water and food and stuff, but just obviously if they're lost, it's gonna be tricky to get back in. Our car keys are in there as well, so it makes it kind of tricky to get anywhere to sort it out. So we'll keep you posted on any progress and if we find them, wish me luck, please pray for me. Ah, some good news. Mikey literally just called me and said that the keys were in the door. So that's good and Ziggy's in there and he's all fine. So he's taken them out and he's coming back to meet me now. And let's just pretend this didn't happen. And hopefully Mikey's parents don't watch this. And hopefully Mikey doesn't see this either because he doesn't know that I was vlogging about him being silly and losing the keys. <laughs> see you in a bit. Normal day resuming. How are you feeling post key drama? Relieved. And who's always right and said they were in the door? You said they were in the door. <laughs> Not always right. Always right. So we have just been to a little shop. What's it called? The Cornish? Cornish pasty or something? I'm not Cornish sure. Bakery. Cornish bakery. I'm not sure how well you can see in there, but I've got a vegetable pasty and then a bag of pop chips, and then we just got some water from co op. And Mickey has. What do you have? I had a bacon, leek, and cheese. Bacon, leek, and cheese. So you're going to eat those. We're just sat on the grass in a park, which is so pretty. Hopefully, we don't get attacked by birds like we have in the past. <laughs> <laughs> um, and yeah, then I think we're gonna get a pasta del natto. Ooh, nice. Is that what's called? I've never had one. That's so yummy. I can't believe you've not had one. I saw you 
How cute are all of these mugs? I really like the little dogs, so you might ask if they have any more of those. I could feel this way and it's kind of strange. We have just gone back to the house after a really, really lovely day out in Dartmouth. As you'll have seen, we had some pasties for lunch, which were really delicious, and we bought some crisps, but weren't actually hungry for them. We then went to a market and got some crab, which looked so yummy, and then picked up some salad ingredients. So I'm gonna make a really nice, fresh, and light crab salad, I think. And then I also did get a couple of mugs, so I thought I'd show you now. I swear, I've got a bit of a mug addiction at the moment. I don't know if anyone else has, but I think it's because I only recently started drinking coffee properly. So yeah, I thought these were really cute and a really good size. There they are. So they've got little Dalmatians on, which I thought was cute because I've always wanted pet Dalmatians, but I don't think we kind of have a lifestyle that could, could look after them because they need a lot of walking a few times a day. Um, and yeah, Ziggy's obviously very lazy, so a lot easier because we only take him out once or twice a day for a short walk. Um, these were £7.50 each, we got two of them. And yeah, I just thought they were really cute and always nice to get something from an independent. Cheers. Cheers, darling. We have just freshened up for the evening. It's a really, really beautiful evening, as hopefully you can see behind me. I'm just wearing this striped Ralph Lauren shirt and then my white shorts. Again, we ended up coming back, having a drink earlier and then falling asleep for a couple of hours, which yeah, was really nice, nice, wasn't it? Just yeah, really nice. Resting, which was lovely. And then, yeah, we're going to have some crisps now and sit and just have a chat with some nibbles. And then I'm going to make a crab salad for dinner. Lash. I don't know if anyone remembers or if this is still a thing, but there used to be, what would you call it? Was it like a, you know, M&S? Oh, the dressing? No, the counter, the bar. Oh, uh, yeah, but I don't know if it was only in Bristol. Yeah, so in Bristol, at the Marks and Spencers, in Cribs Causeway, if anyone's from Bristol, there used to be this... So they're called the Deli Bar or something? A Deli Bar. Yeah. I think they are elsewhere as well. Let me know in the comments if these are something that is in other places because they used to do the most amazing crab salad and mm. I've always tried to recreate it. I used to have it with chips like every few weeks and it was so good. And yeah, they closed yeah. and I'm pretty gutted about it. So I'm gonna try and recreate that tonight. That was years ago as well. I know, it was about five years, six Still years ago. Still gutted. Still upset about it. Cheers. <laughs> Good morning guys, so I've been pretty rubbish at vlogging throughout this trip but I suppose that's what mini breaks are for to kind of enjoy yourself so I tried not to put too much pressure on myself but hopefully you enjoyed seeing a bit more of this area and kind of how we spent our weekend away. Please do give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. As always, when you subscribe, it honestly means a lot to me and I get very happy, so please, please do. I'm wearing the basically the same outfit today. We are leaving now, so we've just had a tidy round of Mikey's parents' house and yeah, heading back to our home now. So thank you so much for watching, guys, and I will see you next time. Bye.